Now that we already talked about the AI tool, you want to use it. I'm going to teach you how. I don't know if I should be teaching you how, but I'm going to teach you how. So what you will do is go to here to GitHub, uh, Mapperator Inator in Google, okay? And then you click not the first one that appears because it might be bullshit. So make sure you're going to this URL, okay? And here there's nothing that you can download specifically, but they give you the tutorial on how to um, run it locally, okay? But we are not going to do that, okay? What we're going to do is try the model here, okay? This will open a collab. Oh my god. This will open a collab website from google.com, all right? If you don't know what collab is, you can search it up. It's kind of complex to 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 explain, but basically you're going to accept the rules and you are going to just run anyway. You pretty much just um wait until it gets all the dependencies that it needs and all that. This is basically a cloud service, okay? This is a computer from Google somewhere in the world that is allocating resources for you to use for free, okay? So when you are using this tool, nothing is going on in your computer, nothing is going on, okay? So it's only in the cloud, in Google's cloud, okay? So at some point, if you use this like way too much, you occupy a lot of resources, uh, Google will tell you, hey, you will have to pay if you want to keep using this shit, or you can just, uh, you know, kind of like switch the account that you're using, uh, you can also do that. <laughs> so yeah, let's wait until this starts running. Also, as you see down here, we are using a T4 GPU. Okay, so that is what the Google uh, Collab is using right now, the computing resources. And boom, successful execution. You actually get a notification there. I don't know if you can see it. And then we will go to upload audio. All right. So we, uh, we play it and then we choose files. And in this case, I'm going to use this song, Cielo de un solo color. And I'm going to choose it. It's going to start uploading. Depends on your internet speed, of course. All right. Once that is done, you'll see like a green tick around here. And then you can upload a bitmap for context and stuff. I'm not going to do any of that. All right. Let's go to Map Rater B30. So let's see the options we have. We are just going to go with B30. We're going to use standard difficulty of the map. Let's go with like a 6.5, like a good... No, a good difficulty. This will never be 100% accurate. If you tell it to be A stars, but the song is very chill, it will never go like more than six or more than five point something, right? Uh, Mapper ID, we'll just use minus one to let it do whatever it wants. We're gonna specify the year 2023, why not? I don't think you can do more than 2023 for now. It sounded, we're gonna say yes. Single size four, overall difficulty nine. Approach rate, maybe we'll do approach rate nine. Slider multiplier, this is like the velocity of the sliders, I believe. Key count, this we don't care about because it's for mania. Then descriptors, you could use this to tell it like certain parameters, right? Like I want it to be messy, I want it to use geometrical, right? I want it to be like uh, perfect stacks, visually dense. Like I want it to be aim, flow aim, whatever. Like you have so many options, right? And you can tell it what you don't want, okay? I don't want fat sliders, I don't want... Um, stamina or whatever, right? You you can use that. We are not going to do that, though. We're going to do export as OSZ. Um, we can use this if you um, want to add it to a bitmap that you already have, okay? Start time, end time. This is useful if you only wanted to map certain parts of the song and not the entire song. We're not going to say anything else. CFG scale, we're just going to leave it there in one. I'm not really going to touch anything else. And uh, we're just going to go up here and press on run here. Okay. And now this is actually where the magic happens, as you see. So yeah, we have the model self safe tensors. Those are the models that the AI uses, right? The generation config, what we just put in there. And uh, yeah, it's already generating the map. And all we have to do is just wait. And would you look at that? Our map is finished generating. Okay, we're downloading it right now. Okay, let's try it out in laser. We're gonna import a map here. And and let's see what the AI generated, huh? Okay, let's spice it up a little bit.
So, it even puts the spinner at the end. Yeah, honestly, very, very base. So, uh, you know, like, they're not even trying too hard here to generate this map. And it still comes up with something really cool. And I think, um, you know, that might be good, that might be bad, depending on your point of view. I, If you ask me my opinion, if you care about my opinion, I think this tool is pretty cool. But I think we need to take measures to make everyone feel safe, everyone feel comfortable um, with this. And I don't think it should be ranked. Ever. I don't think you should ever be able to rank an AI map. That is my opinion, though. You are free to uh, say yours in the comments. Last but not least, I want to just make um, make clear Oli Bombi is the creator of this amazing tool. Really smart guy, honestly. I was looking here what he was uh, doing with AI, the more complex technical side of things. And it is really smart. He uses spectrograms. Um, and, and so many complex things that are out of the scope of this video. But, um, you know, if you like the project, make sure to, you know, give it a star and, and, you know, all that good stuff. And, you know, for you, the viewer watching this, if you're going to use this tool, use it responsibly. Use it responsibly, okay? Use it responsibly and always disclose that you are using artificial intelligence, a predator in your description or tags or somewhere that it can be at least, you know, visible that you're doing it, okay? And don't try to rank it. All right, I think that was everything for me. Thank you so much for watching and see you.